hello friends welcome to share market friend again today in this video I'm going to compare uh, the basic constituents and their weightage and their graphs related things uh, of nifty 50 and Nasdaq 100 as you all know these are it is one of the top uh, indexes in India that is upper that is uh, from BAC 30 or nifty 50 these are top indices in India so I am considering nifty 50 for that and also there is one another index that is nasdaq 100 it is one of the top uh, indexes of america united states of america uh, actually there are few uh, two to three other indexes are also that represent the top 80 to 90 percent of market capital of uh, america those are s p 500 then dow jones index and then nasdaq composite uh, actually all these all the companies all the hundred companies covered under nasdaq hundred are constituent are representing constituents of nasdaq composite so we can consider this for comparison of top uh, companies of america to india or their basic related things so if you see the graph of uh, nasdaq hundred for last from 1999 you can see it was in bull market for for 2000 then uh, into a long bear market then again in 2007 it was in bull and then 2009 it was in bear and then stabilized at 2016 in the year of 2016 and then rose up again in 2018 and currently uh, facing a little difficulty in rising again from lows of November 2018 so if you compare same uh, for nifty 50 for long term graph you can see it was also in bull run in 2007-8 and then beer and then it stabilized during uh, 2016 to uh, near about period and then uh, from recently last one year one year or five year if you compare these uh, two indices then you can find there is uh, appearing a little correlation between these uh, two indices because global economy as it is expanding all markets are getting related to each other they are influencing each other so in this video I'll be comparing the basic constituents of these two indexes indices and their uh, sectorial weightage so there are 50 companies in nifty index out of which each company represent a particular uh, their free float market capital represent particular weightage percentage in the nifty so if you consider 100 uh, units of nifty then this is the particular uh, weightage that is given to particular stock this is not precisely accurate but uh, a basic uh, notional value you can understand from this so HDFC bank uh, the most popular bank as you know it has around 10 percent then Reliance Industries has weightage of 10 percent into the nifty 50 index so these are the top 20 percent of the nifty that is HDFC bank and then Reliance Industries uh, then HDFC finance corporation has more one more seven percent then Infosys around six and a half percent ITC limited uh, that is Indian Tobacco Company that is five and half percent ICICI Bank in same way Tata, Tata Consultancy in the same uh, level around five to five and half percent Kotak Mahindra Bank, Larson and Tobro and Axis Bank are in the range of three to four percent so you can see the top 10 companies are HDFC Bank, Reliance Industries, HDFC Limited, Infosys, ITC, ICICI Bank, Tata Consultancy, Kotak Mahindra, Larsen and Tobro and Axis Bank. Okay. So if you compare same uh, thing for uh, Nasdaq 100, you can see these are the top 10 companies of Nasdaq 100. That is first is Apple. As you know it makes Apple, uh, app as Apple makes uh, cell phones tabs etc then uh, it carries the highest weightage of 14 percent uh, its share is rising very rapidly if you see its graph uh, share price graph then Microsoft has seven and a half percent Amazon which is online shopping it works in India also it has three and a half percent Google class C shares then again here Google class A shares they both carry around six to six and a half percent then Facebook which we all use it carries around three and a half percent then GI lead sciences or G lead 
uh, you can pronounce it that way Gilead Sciences carry three and a half percent which is a biotechnology pharmacy related company then Intel which makes computer related uh, things like processor microprocessor etc and I think it is in consultancy or IT related work also it carries around three percent uh, then Cisco which is related to consultants and IT and software kind of company which carries around 3% weightage in NASDAQ 100 then Comcast Corporation which is uh, related to telecommunication business it carries around 2.5% so you can see these are the top 10 companies uh, they carry around 50 to 55 percent weightage in NASDAQ 100 okay so it is uh, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, Facebook, Gilead Sciences, Intel, Google again that is Class A, Class C shares, Cisco, Comcast, Comcast Corporation. So I guess uh, out of this all around eight to, uh, seven, six to seven companies are s there in the India. They have offices, they have products in India. Okay, so if you see uh, the sectoral weightage of companies, you can see a drastic difference between uh, top Ameri uh, American index companies and Indian top index companies. So our biggest weightage is for financial services compared to uh, NASDAQ biggest weightage is for technology companies. Actually, there is another index in America, it is there and that is Dow Jones which doesn't have that much uh, allocation to technology or uh, IT sector so here in NASDAQ it is highest up around 51 percent and for India it is highest is 37 percent then second is uh, energy and IT carry around 15 percent each and consumer goods carry 10 percent then automobile automobile metals construction all this carry around 3 to 4 percentage so our top sectors are financial services energy IT consumer goods and automobile and for American top uh, NASDAQ 100 it is technology then consumer services carry 23 percent then consumer goods 4 percent and healthcare 14 percent so this is a big difference between these two indexes but still nowadays they are moving in tandem uh, if you see their one year two year or four five year graph thick you can see you can observe the sync between their upside trucks and uh, bottoms top and bottoms so this was a basic uh, simple comparison between Nifty and NASDAQ 100 uh, top index of India and top index of America uh, I'll try to improve and bring out more information and interesting topics for you in this channel share market friend if you like it you can subscribe and click on the like button and you can click on the share and uh, share this video with your friends also thank you for listening share market friend